San and Tizen's third season will be over in two episodes. We are as yet longing for signs of a cheerful closure, yet it appears to be the journalists will make us hold on until the last minutes of the last episode. Charlotte broke her promise to Ralph and her parents by rejecting Alexander in episode 3. In the fourth episode, she kept her promises. She made every effort to stay away from Alexander, but they kept falling into each other's orbit. Augusta and Edward were seen fleeing in the final minutes of episode 4 with a cobburn and requesting Charlotte's assistance in locating Augusta. As a result, the season's final episode will feature Alexander and Charlotte together, away from everyone's eyes, so that they can finally acknowledge their feelings for one another. How about we take a gander at the episode 5C to check whether that will occur? Charlotte is seen sprinting down the stairs in the preview. She is prepared with a bag, indicating that she will travel. She asserts that Augusta's future is in danger. She is probably chatting with Ralph at this point. Ralph dislikes Charlotte's excessive time in Sanditon. Maybe he comprehends his life partner would rather not be close to him. Ralph's expression says it all in the following scene, when Charlotte and Alexander get into the carriage. He cares for the carriage with such a miserable face that you can see. Despite Alexander's assurances that he will ensure that Charlotte returns safely, he has the impression that there is something wrong with her. We don't believe Ralph has faith in him or is at ease with him traveling with Charlotte. However, he is also pretty decent, so he cannot simply deny Charlotte entry. Because that is not who he is, he must endure it nonetheless because there are other scenes to discuss in the preview. One is the part where Arthur tells Georgiana that she doesn't like Harry. If you recall, Georgiana and Harry made the announcement of their engagement in the previous episode, which as you can imagine, caused Arthur a great deal of pain. He now feels betrayed by both Harry and Georgiana. That's what he believes on the off chance that she doesn't cherish Harry, she shouldn't wed him, and Georgiana answers, it doesn't have anything to do with affection. Georgiana's words give the impression of being petty and unconcerned about Arthur's feelings, which is cause for concern. We realize she contemplates her future, however is she that blind not to see Arthur's aggravation and enduring, as Arthur requests to be aware in the event that Harry's joy is likewise significant, we see a heartfelt second among him and Harry. They are passionately gazing at one another while holding hands. This could mean that they don't want to give up their new love. We can't blame them for not wanting to let go of something precious that seems to be going on. One more scene in the trailer shows Tom and Mary battling, as they have been accomplishing for the last a few episodes. Tom concurred with Raleigh Price's plan to construct a seaside hotel by raising the old town, which was home to numerous people, including Mary's former maid and her children. Mary believes that it would be cruel to demolish these individuals' homes and force them to relocate, disrupting their lives as if nothing had happened. However, it appears that Tom has come to the conclusion that this is merely a business. We like that Mary has her own position on this on the grounds that starting from the start, she has forever been a strong accomplice, concurring Who with anything see me? better Nobody does. Nobody's smoking that you've been waiting for. She now recognizes a problem and is not afraid to voice her opinion. The following trailer scenes are now the least exciting. Edward and Augusta are shown. Augusta asks Edward if he loves her after they first kiss on the lips. She seems to be in need of comfort because she might have noticed a shift in Edward's attitude toward her. Although Edward's response is interesting, it is still manipulative. He asks, how could you possibly ask me that? By placing blame on Augusta, he is avoiding the question. When will this girl realize how sick of a man Edward is, Manipulation 101. It's presently time to check out at the main scenes of the review. Alexander and Charlotte are going down a road. They are in a rush. It's possible that they rushed to locate Abesta after learning where she was. Alexander's voiceover can be heard there as he talks to Charlotte. He states